LDBC. This is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. And this episode of the Coach Sheldon Harrison Power Chart is brought to you by 93 Sports News, okay? If you want the real and all up-to-date matters on any kind of sports or issues, go subscribe to 93 Sports News today, okay? All right, guys. This is a fight that I've definitely been anticipating. And these two, they're not going to disappoint. They have been building this fight up. Um, they haven't been getting a lot of coverage or press about their fight. But these two, they've been doing it. They've been on social media going back and forth, man. And I like it because, you know, let's just face it. You know, Marion Reyno and Betch Cohea, they're two fighters that they're very exciting, but they're not going to get the kind of publicity that they need. So guess where they're going to get it at? They're going to get it right here on Coach Shelton Harrison, okay? That's just how it is, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and, and talk about the breakdown of this fight and what I see, okay? All right. Let's first start off. Okay, Hart. I think Mary Reno, her heart is just through the roof. And this is only on a 1 to 5 scale. If it was a 15 or a 1,000, Mary Reno would get a 1,000. I mean, her heart is unquestionable. I mean, this girl, she's been hit with some, some, some shots in her career. And she's come back, and she's always weathered the storm, okay? Mary Reno does not know how to stop. See, Marion has one thing that a lot of people don't have. She's fighting, she's fighting for her son. And I understand that, you know? Uh, Betch Cohea, I had to question her heart a little bit when she got hit by Ronda Rousey and Ronda knocked her out. It's almost like Betch Cohea just kind of folded, man. She didn't really try to recover or scramble. It's just like she didn't want to go on anymore when she took the shot. So I had to question her heart. Chin, I got to give that edge to Mary Reno, y'all. I'm sorry. Mary Reno's chin is just is through the roof. Like she got caught by Holly Holm with a lot of those brutal kicks that Holly does and it drops people. Mary Reno stood in there like a true champ and took those shots and kept going. Uh, Betts go ahead. I don't know, man. Still, I go back to, you know, the fight she had against Ronda Rousey. Ronda hit her with some punches, and it's like she folded when Ronda hit her. Like, like one time she folded. Uh, stamina. Mary Reno is a former track and field uh, heptathlete, okay? And her stamina is through the roof, okay? I've never seen Mary Reno win it. I, I haven't, okay? Betts go ahead. I have seen her win it in fights. Um, She'll still stay, she'll stay in there and she'll fight the fight, but I've seen her get winded. Uh, punching. Mary Reno, I think her jabs, and I think the accuracy and the velocity in which she places her punches, I think that she's a bit more accurate than Betch Cohea. Betch Cohea, she throws punches from a lot of crude angles that you can't really time her as good as you can like an orthodox opponent, but I think Mary Reno is the more precise puncher, and I think that she's the more effective striker, okay, or the more effective puncher in my opinion. Kicking, um, I give that edge to Mary Reno. She'll do a little bit more variety of kicks. Best go ahead. I don't see her do the variety of kicks that I would like to see. Okay, Betch is just a rock 'em sock 'em. She's gonna come forward and maul you. Is what she's gonna is what she's gonna do. Uh, grappling, Mary Reno uh, definitely does well with the grapple. Okay, um, I mean she just does. Okay, she's okay in the clinch. She doesn't mind being in the clinch. She likes it. Um, and, you know, Betch Cohea, I've seen her grapple and clinch, and she, she throws some good knees, but then she always loses, she'll lose that control. And, folks, that's just how it is. But, you know, that number probably could go up. You know, I just, all, the video that I've seen, you know, Betch just didn't have the seem to have the control while she's in the grapple. Submission, I give it to Marion Reno. Um, Betch Cohea doesn't have a single submission on her record. Now, that doesn't mean that she didn't do it in the amateurs, okay? That don't mean she didn't do it, but I've never seen her in a fight submit anybody, okay? Betch is a, a maul of She's going to come forward and beat you, okay? Um, I've seen Mary Reno do some beautiful submissions, and, you know, Mary Reno has that background in BJJ, which I think um, that's going to play a role, and Mary does a great job with this. Ground game. I think Mary is more comfortable on the ground than Betch Cohea. Uh, Betch Cohea and her fights, it just seems like she'd rather prefer not go to the ground, okay? Um, and she don't look as comfortable on the ground and on her back. Mary is pretty comfortable on her back. In fact, she can get out of a lot of the situations when she's at a disadvantage on her back. I've seen her do it. Um, especially when she fought Jessica Andrade and Andrade tried to, you know, come forward and just maul the crap out of her. Marion kept her composure. She kept her composure, and she made adjustments in that fight. Strength. Okay, now people will argue this and say, well, Betch Cohea is stronger. Well, no. Let's talk about this. Marion Reno was a heptathlete, okay? And Marion Reno threw a shot put almost 40 feet. Look, for a woman her size, she's short, 
and she can throw a shot put 40 feet, throw a javelin 178 feet. Um, heptathletes, that's some of the strongest athletes on the planet. They're very strong. Think about Jackie Joyner Kersey. I mean, Jackie Joyner Kersey could during their bench press 200 pounds. And I know Marion Raynaud is very, very strong. She's strong, man. Uh, Betch Cohea is strong, okay? She's physically strong, and Betch Cohea is, is very stocky. You know, I bet you Betch Cohea could deadlift about 350 pounds. But I got to give the edge of the strength advantage to Mary. And you guys are going to see how strong Mary Reno is. If these two clinch together, you guys are going to, you know, understand. Agility. Again, I have to go back to Marion's background as a heptathlete. You, you have to be agile in many disciplines, okay? I mean, Marion would have had to run the 800, throw the javelin, throw the shot put. She had to do the high jump. She had the long jump. I mean, she did all those events in two days. And yet, that takes a lot of agility, I know, because I am a track and field coach as well. Uh, Betch is very agile. She's very agile. Um, and Betch can actually move around the octagon. Betch sometimes don't like to use that agility. And I think in this fight, Betch Cohea needs to use that strength of agility that she has. Uh, speed. I think Marion is a bit faster than Betch. Betch is fast, but I think Marion is faster, okay? And you go back to a lot of the things that Marion's been doing. You got to remember, Marion Renault hasn't really, is not really that old. She's, she's about six or seven years into the sport. So she's picked up quite a bit just in those six years. But her speed is unquestionable. I'm sorry, she's fast. Power. If I have an edge, or maybe, maybe I even want to change my mind, I would almost have to say maybe. The power is probably the closest thing in these two categories, okay? It just is. Um, you know, I've seen Marion's workouts, man. The, the, the girl is powerful. She's very, very powerful. Um, Betch Cohea, you know, she probably has that power, but you don't really see her really precisionally, accurately place punches because she's always trying to maul you. Um, I think Betch does have power deep down. I just haven't seen it in the fights that I've analyzed and really studied. I hadn't seen her try. She'll just try to hit you with volume. That's Betch's strong point. She's going to hit you with an accumulation of punches, but she's not going to try to just get one punch and time you and then hit you. Uh, takedown. That's Mary Raynaud. Betch Cohea don't like taking people down. Um, she may try to. She's unsuccessful at times. She don't really like it. Betch would prefer. And I'm not saying Betch don't have takedown. She does. She would prefer to stand and push you against the cage and just maul you against the cage. That's what she wants to do. Um, takedown defenses. I'll have to give that edge to Betch Cohea. I've seen Betch stuff a lot of takedowns because... Her whole game plan is to stay on her feet. So I give that edge to Betch Cohea. Okay, in my honest opinion, who do I think will win this fight? I think Mary Reno will either win this fight by knockout or she's going to try to submit Betch Cohea. Which I think Betch Cohea is wide open for a submission because she's so wild and so unorthodox that a patient fighter like Mary Reno, she's very patient. She would probably, you know, try to exploit that, catch a limb, or even look for a takedown while Betch Cohea is trying to maul her. Or, I think if they both just stand up together, I think Marion Reno will win this fight if they stand, okay? I just do. If Betch Cohea can manage to get Marion against the cage and keep her there and smother Marion's offense, then Betch Cohea can win the fight. You know, and this isn't conclusive, okay? It isn't conclusive, but I think Marion Reno is going to actually win this fight. Folks, that's just my opinion. That's just how it is. You guys tell me what you think respectfully in the comment section. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.